What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see today, I'm back down the Gold Coast again. We're out in the jetty and this is actually in my backyard at the moment. It's pretty crazy to think that there's literally bull sharks swimming around and that I can catch them out of my own backyard. So pretty much what I got installed for today's video is I've bought a heap of rods out here, a heap of different stuff. And what I'm gonna do, try to catch some lunch to cook up first. It's about midday at the moment. So before we actually get into it, I just wanna show you some of the fish that I've actually caught off this one jetty in particular. I've caught bull sharks, mangrove jacks. I'll be happy if I catch a brim, let's be honest. But I say what we need to do now, catch some bait. We got a cast net, we don't have any bait with us. So let's start getting that ready, get these rods out there, and hopefully catch some river monsters out of my backyard. All right, let's get into it. I've actually got four fishing rods that I'm gonna be using today. I've got the eel tail caddy destroyer that you would have seen in my last week's challenge video. We're hooked up to a caddy here. Oh. Come on, bud. Get in here, buddy. Yes. That's a nice one, hey. Purple's on that, that's great. That is so cool, on a little spangled perch. He's good, he's good, he's good. He's good? He's got a little, he's got a little oh. bit of play in him now. I'm shark? Keeping, I'm keeping this drag light because I really don't want this line. To Do you catch. reckon it's a shark? It's a jack. Oh, it's a massive mangrove jack. Oh, Look at this. oh. What? Look at this. No, no that is huge. Miles, no, 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 Miles. Be careful. Be careful. Miles, that is massive. Miles, no, no, no. Be careful. It'll. Oh, it'll we, don't have net or we don't have a net or anything. Oh no! no. Grab. No. Miles, grab it. Jump in. I'm not grab jumping. it. <laughs> no. no. It actually caught some really good fish on it, surprisingly. As per usual, just behind me here, we got a bigger shark rod that we're gonna be trying to catch little bull sharks and maybe even some mangrove jacks on. I've got a lighter rod that I'm gonna be flicking plastics on and then we got this one right here. I got them set up for all different kinds of fish, so hopefully if they're biting, we should be able to get a few. There we go. What is that? That actually doesn't feel too bad. Oh, I think it's a flatty. Oh, good flatty. Oh, monster flatty. That is a massive flatty. That is a big flatty. Come on. Don't lose him. Oh, he's actually going hard. Fingers crossed. We've hooked up to a Big flathead here. I want to get a good look at him. See how big he actually is. Get this stuff out of the way. Oh, good one. Brim, you can get out. Right. I think this flatty could be in the high 60s, honestly. Try to get him up to the surface. Oh. 
He's going hard. Make sure I'm filming. Yep. We need to get this flatty in. Come on. This is the biggest flatty I've caught off here. If I can get him in. Look at that monster. Yes. Yes! Take a look at that! That is a massive flatty! No way! Oh, we got him off the jetty as well. Look at that compared to my hand! Wow! That's a big one, so we're definitely going to let this one go. It'd be a big breeder. Let's get a measurement on him and get him up close to the camera. Look at that! We'll keep him in the water there for now. All right, let's get a measuring tape on this big fella. Look at that. Absolute monster of a flathead. I'm calling high 60s, I reckon. This one would almost be too big to eat, hey? So here's from the front there, 69 centimeters. There we go. Take a look at that. That is absolutely awesome. What a magnificent fish. And take a look at that absolutely monster flathead right there. That is so cool. Big dusky flathead off this jetty down the Gold Coast. Now this guy was 67 centimeters. What's legal with these flathead is to keep them between 40 and 75. Now though it would be legal to keep this flatty, what I'm gonna do, let it go and let it breed. So I can keep coming back to this jetty and catching more flathead. But take a look at the size of that head right there. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. Prehistoric looking animals right there. Just perfectly built for sitting on the floor, waiting for fish to come past and ambushing them, striking out, grabbing them in their mouth. And so far, this is the biggest flatty that I've caught off this jetty. And that's so good to see that they're still sticking around. So what I'm gonna do, get her back in the water, keep on fishing and see what else we can catch. That is absolutely awesome. I'm stoked with that. So the best part about catching a big flathead like this is not only the fight, not only getting it in, but then releasing it at the end. And this is such an impressive specimen. And although it would get some massive fillets off of it, this will be a big breeder in a couple years time. So what I'm gonna do, just chuck her down in the water, just like this. And when she's ready, she'll kick off. All right. Here we go. Take a look at that. Swimming off strong right there. That is so good. All right, we still need to try and get something to eat, so we're going to get the rods back out there, keep on fishing, and see what else we can catch. But that is so good right there. Big flathead first up in the morning. Let's go. Oh, what? See that? That was a massive flatty that we had in there then. That's crazy. But we got a heap of little bait and a little brim. There's a lot of, oh, oh, hit the jackpot. I've hit the jackpot here. Take a look at that. These guys are very poisonous. So you don't want to get stung by them. Another little stingray right there. We're not going to get him, but we'll cast over the top of him. There we go, little mullet. All right, we'll get you out in a second. But as you can see, in here already, I've actually got a big brim and a mullet. I'll roll you the clip of the brim that I caught yesterday afternoon. Oh. That feels like there could be a crab on the end of it. Mud crab. Oh. Is that a legal one? Take a look at that. We just caught a mud crab on the fishing rod and he's got my rod good there. But that's pretty cool to actually fully get one in on the fishing rod. So I say, chuck this fella back in over there, keep on fishing and hopefully we can get something that we can cook up for lunch. Here we go. Fingers crossed it's a shark or a jack. Fingers crossed it isn't a pike eel. Fingers crossed it's anything but a pike eel. 
There we go. We're under something here. I think. Yeah, we're onto something here. There we go. What is that? It's feeling pretty pikey ish. Oh, there we go. Little pike eel. Take a look at that little fella. Oh my goodness. He put up a bit of a fight. Another species on the list. I hate dealing with these things. No way I'm picking that up. But that is such a crazy looking creature. Look at the colors on it. I wonder what this is. Brim. Yes, that's a big fella. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that. Another fish to add to this challenge. It's just so cool seeing how many species of fish that I can catch literally out of my backyard. Take a look at that. We could even keep this fella overnight and cook him up in the morning. Look at this big fella over here. Look at that. Massive barb on it. All right, let's go fill it up this brim and cook it up. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna take some fillets off this brim. There we go. Chuck this one in the crab pot. So it's about midday at the moment and what I thought I'd do is cook up this brim so I just get a bit of lunch into me and then keep fishing throughout the rest of the day. So we got the fillets here. What we're gonna do now, drop them in right there and they can start to cook up. So that's the great thing about coming out to a jetty like this or just fishing in general is you can literally catch your own bait, catch your own food, get a fishing rod out there and catch a fish that you can cook up. So cheers to the simple life. All right, let's finish this off and then keep on fishing. All right, everyone, and there we go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've done a lot of videos fishing off this jetty and I still can't get over the fact that I can literally just walk out of my bedroom straight down on this jetty, catch my own food, cook it up here and it's so cool to think that there's bull sharks swimming around here as well. Now we didn't catch any bull sharks in today's video but if you want to see more jetty videos, jetty challenges, everything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all your support and I'll see you guys again next Saturday in the next adventure.